Welcome back for another edition of To Read or Not To Read. That is the question. As you all know, this Thursday is a very special day. It's one of my favorite days of the whole year. It is Earth Day. And in my opinion, I feel that Earth Day shouldn't just be celebrated on one day every year, but every single day. Um, and I am going to show you a few books today that you can use in every day, especially with summer coming up when kids might be out of school. There's a bunch of different crafts that you could do. A lot of them focus on remaking things, reusing, recycle, um, reducing waste. So I hope some of these books that I share with you today, you can apply to your everyday lives in some way or another. This first book that I'm going to talk about is called Recycle and Remake Creative Projects for Eco Kids. And this product just has a few recommendations on things that you can do with a lot of the waste that we generate. So when you're eating carrots, instead of just chopping the top off because you don't eat it, how you can actually plant that and be able to um, grow more carrots. And some of the products about the waste you may generate with your leaves every year on deciduous trees, we know that the leaves fall, and what you can do aside from just throwing them away, ways that you can actually utilize them, and then also plastics that you generate or cardboard and how you can make use of those items instead of just like taking it to the landfill. And I'm partial to wildlife, so if any of you are partial to wildlife too, this book's for you. Kids Easy to Create Wildlife Habitats for small spaces in cities, suburbs, countryside. So all of the above here in Rapid City. And this is a Williamson Kids Can book. And there are so many fun activities that you can do, especially with summer just around the corner, from creating habitat for butterflies in your backyard, creating a bee hotel in your backyard, butterfly puddlers for them to eat. So a lot of great activities, ways that you can help celebrate Earth Day every day of the year. And for our nature lovers, this one by Creative Kids is Nature Crafts by Joy Williams. And this one has native um, nature sun catchers that you can make, um, different things that you can make out of things that you can collect probably from your own backyard this summer. And it has a ton of stuff that you can do from painting different leaves or tracing leaves, creating things out of corn husks, pillows. So a lot of fun things that you can do and kids can do this summer, or adults, they're fun for uh, all ages. I highly suggest that you check out this book. And one of the last books I'm gonna show you about is this brand new one that we have from Nat Geo Kids. It's Kids vs. Plastic, Ditch the Straw and Find the Pollution Solution to Bottle Bags other single use and Other Single-Use Plastics. And then how can you be a waste warrior? And when you think about your everyday life, I think about mine. In the morning, I might have a yogurt. And what does that come in? A single-use plastic container. And when I go get a takeout lunch, it comes in plastic containers. And when you think about this, all of it is astounding, the amount of plastic that we use in one day. And there are amazing infographics in here that kind of stop you in your tracks when you see them. Like how long everything lasts in our landfills, how long fishing line lasts in our landfills, 600 years. So what this book does is not only highlight the use that we actually have from these items and how much we generate, but how we can reuse these items, reduce our waste and recycle our plastic. It talks about different crafts that you can do and also ways that you can think about and be more conscious of how we're using single use plastics. I hope that you too, after reading some of these books, come check them out down at the library um, and start applying these to your everyday life and then help celebrate Earth Day every day like I do. We'll see you again on to read or not to read. That is the question.